What's up, everybody? It's Cordias. This is a video for rotations with points. Okay, so if you've not yet watched the videos for rotations with graphs, you need to do that first before you watch this one, okay? Because I'm expecting you guys to know everything from that video. So uh, with rotations, first, just a real quick recap. A rotation is uh, when we twist or turn a figure around the origin, okay, either clockwise or counterclockwise. So if I had a triangle ABC right here and I wanted to rotate it about the origin, if I wanted to go clockwise, I would then go the same direction that a clock goes, and it's rotating like that. So this would be 90 degrees clockwise, and this would be my resulting figure. If I wanted to go counterclockwise, I would go the opposite direction of a clock, like so. And this would be 90 degrees counterclockwise. Okay, so it's when we're rotating an image and we get new points. Okay, so what we're going to do today, though, is we're going to look at how to rotate images without actually having to take a graph and move it around. This is if you have to, maybe you have a problem on a computer, you're taking a computerized test and you cannot manipulate this graph. You don't have the ability to rotate it to figure out where your new points are, like what we did with the previous video. Sometimes you might have to be able to figure out the points on your own, okay, without being able to rotate, and this is how we do that. Okay, so it looks like a lot at first, but it's actually really, really, really simple. So when we rotate, we either rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise or 90 degrees clockwise, or we sometimes go 180 degrees, and we'll talk about that in a second. So, um, what I want you guys to do is make sure you get down the rules for 90 degrees counterclockwise. These are my rules. And get down the rules for 90, deg 90 degrees clockwise. These are my rules. These are just examples of what that looks like. So, if I'm rotating a figure 90 degrees counterclockwise, all I do is I change the sign of my Y. Okay, so I change the sign of my Y, so if it's positive, it then becomes negative. If it was negative, it then becomes positive. And then I switch around the X and Y. Okay, so again, so if I have a point here, X and Y, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the sign of my Y, so my Y would then become either negative or, or if it was already negative, it would become positive, but then I switch their spots. Okay, so here's an example of that. If I want to rotate the point 3, 4, 90 degrees counterclockwise, if I've got my point 3, 4, First thing I do is I change the sign of my Y. So right here, my Y is positive 4. I'm going to make it negative 4. Okay, so I'm changing the sign of my Y. And then my next step is to switch the X and the Y. So I just swap these. So then I swap these two numbers. They're going to go trade each other's places to become negative 4, 3. And that's it. That would be my new point if I had to rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. And this really, the only time we, the, the really the main purpose of doing this, you guys, is when we don't have a piece of paper that we can just rotate around to see what our new image is. Okay. 90 degrees clockwise. Okay. So it's very similar, except for we're still going to switch around our X and our Y, but first we're going to change the sign of our X instead of changing the sign of our Y. Okay, so if I'm going 90 degrees count, if I'm going 90 degrees clockwise, I'm going to change the sign of my x, okay, and then I will switch my x and y around. So same exact process as this, except for I'm making my changing the sign of my x. So if I have three, four, change the sign of my x, and then I swap them, switch their spots. Okay, so that's it. I mean, that's that, and then we'll also show in a little bit what we do for 180 degrees. And that's the easiest one. All right, so make sure you have this down before you move on, and let's look at some examples. So I have um, a line segment. Okay, so just a reminder, a line segment is a line that has two endpoints. Okay, and this line segment has the points A is negative 1, 2, and B is 3, negative 2. And it's rotated 90 degrees clockwise. So it's rotated clockwise, 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. What are the new points? Okay, so if I rotate 90 degrees clockwise about the origin, I want to know what my new points are. So what we need to do is we need to look at my rule, 90 degrees clockwise. Let's see, I change the sign of my X and I switch X and Y. Okay, so I'm going to write that down. So my X, Y becomes, my points become, I switch them around so it becomes Y and X, so they get moved. But then I change the sign of my X, so that's the one I switch. I make that negative. Okay, so I'm going to do that with both A and B. So my A prime, I need to switch around. I need to change the sign of my X, and then I need to swap the points. Okay, so right now I have negative 1, 2. Okay, the first step says change the sign of X. 
So that means I need to change my sine of x. It's a negative 1, so I need to make it positive 1. Okay? But then finally, i got to do the last step, which means swap, swap them around. And that's going to give me 2, 1. Okay? For b prime, I'm starting with 3, negative 2. Okay? And what I need to do is I'm just going to follow, I'm going to take it, do this in one step. I'm going to change the sign of my x, which is negative 3, and then I'm going to swap these. So I know my y is just moving over here, and that stays the same. And then my x is one I, I need to change the sign of, so this positive 3 becomes a negative 3. Okay, and that's it. So there's my b prime, and here's my a prime. Here are the new points. Now I can plot those points and show that simple rotation. Okay, now if I wanted to see two points rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. So if I'm going counterclockwise, that's when it's a little bit different. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm swapping my x and my y again, but instead of changing the sign of x, I'm changing the sign of my y. So a prime is going to become, if I start with negative 3, negative 1, it's then going to swap, I'm going to swap around my points, and I'm going to change the sign of my y. So my y is going to become positive 1, and then I can swap my x and my y. Sw swap the order real quick. So it'll be 1, negative 3. B prime, uh, same process, negative 21, 20. So what I need to do is I need to follow that step by swapping the order and changing the sign of my y. So this 20 is going to become negative 20. And my x just comes over to the other side and becomes my new y. And there's my new ordered pair. So I've got b prime and I've got a prime. So now let's look at what happens when we rotate it 180 degrees. Okay, so a reminder, 180 degrees is when we flip it all the way around. We do, we turn all the way around, so we flip it upside down. Okay. And when we're rotating 180 degrees, all we need to do is we just need to change the sign of both x and y. We don't actually swap places. We just change the signs, okay? So it looks like this. If I have my x and my y, instead of swapping the order of x and y, all we're doing is just changing the signs. So they become negative x and negative y. And if they're both negative, they would then change to positive. So we're just changing the sign of both x and y. So an example of that, if I had the point 3, 4, and I had to rotate it 180 degrees, because I have the point 3, 4, I need to change the sign of both these numbers, so it's going to change to negative 3 and negative 4. Okay, so let's look at some more examples here. Last, we got a little table here where we can rotate 90 degrees clockwise, 90 degrees counterclockwise, and 180 degrees. So, if I had the point negative 1, negative 2, I put my notes down here for clockwise and counterclockwise just in case we forgot. Okay. But for, and then I have 180 degrees over here. For negative 1 and negative 2, if I wanted to go 90 degrees clockwise, so let's look at what we needed to do. We were supposed to swap the order, so we just flip our points around, but we change the sign of our x. So first I want to change the sign of my x. This is going to become a positive 1. Okay, so I have positive 1 and negative 2. But then now what I need to do is I need to then swap my x and y. We change the order. So it's going to become negative 2 and positive 1. Okay? For 90 degrees counterclockwise with this point, if we look at our rules here. We do the same thing. We still swap, we swap our x and y. They change places, but now instead of changing the sign of our x, we are changing the sign of our y. So when I change the sign of my y, because it was already a negative 2, it's now going to become a positive 2. Whoops. There we go. It's now going to become a positive 2. So I'm going to have positive 2 for my x, negative 1 for my y. Okay, so I swapped my x and my y after I changed my y, changed the sign, changed the value of my y symbol. And then for 180 degrees, that's the easier one. All we have to do for 180 degrees is we don't have to swap my x and y. We don't swap order. For 180 degrees, we just change our signs. So because this is a negative 1, it's going to become positive 1. Because this is a negative 2, it's going to become a positive 2. All right, last one. Let's just look at 4, 3 real quick. 
So give it a shot on your own first, and so you pause the video, and then you can check to see how you did afterwards. So for 90 degrees clockwise, for 4, 3, again, I'm just changing the sign of my x value down here, changing the sign of my x, changing the sign of my x, and then I'm swapping my x and my y. So because this is a positive 4, it's now going to become negative 4. So now when I swap the order, my y becomes my x, and then now I have negative 4 for my new y. Okay, for counterclockwise, so I'm changing the values of x and y. I'm swapping them. Okay, so I'm swapping my x and y, and I'm only changing the value of my y. Okay, so I'm swapping my x and y, but I'm only changing the value of my y. So let's see, my y is 3, so because it's positive, it's got to become negative. So now I can swap 4 and negative 3 to make negative 3. And finally, for the 180 degrees, all we're doing is just changing the sign of both of our x and our y. We do not have to um, swap our x and our y. So for 4, 3, we're going to have negative 4, negative 3. Okay, guys, hope this video helped. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and good luck.